the Lord has brought you here for these few minutes. And I want you to take time out just to listen. What when is you and God at judgment? What then? What when is me and God at judgment? What then? If we're not in righteousness with him, that would be the saddest day that we could ever imagine. Do you not know that God has given unto us the way of escape from a devil's Hadean world fire? And that fire that God has prepared is not for you and is not for me. It's for the devil and all who will choose to be like him. God has given unto us the way of escape. And that way of escape is only through Christ Jesus. You read in John 14 and 6, Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man can come unto the Father except he come by me. In order that any of us would ever be saved, we must come through Christ Jesus. And that way is through his church. We find the way of salvation being simple. In order to be a Christian, you must hear the gospel of God, Romans ten seventeen. So then faith come by hearing. Hear and come by the word of God. We must believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please God. He that's coming to God must believe that God is. And he's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. You must repent of your sin. Repenting is giving up whatever is stopping you from being right with God. Luke 13, 3 and 5. The Lord said, I tell you no, but except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. We must confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. The Lord said, if you confess me before men, I will confess you before my father, which is in heaven. But if you deny me before men, I will deny you before my father, which is in heaven. We must be baptized in water to have our sins washed away. John 8, 31 and 32. Jesus said to those Jews that believed on him, if you continue in my word, you are my disciples indeed. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Mark 16, 15, 16, the Lord said, Go into all the world. Preach the gospel to every person. He who believes the gospel and is baptized shall be saved. He who believeth not shall be damned. We must continue to be faithful unto death. Revelation 2 and 10, the Lord said, But be thou faithful unto death, and I will give you a crown of light that faded not away. This is his promise. It's his promise to all of us. If you're not a Christian, why don't you come before it is too late? God bless you and God keep us all in his love. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask it all. We give thanks. Amen.